How's it going guys? Johnny here and welcome back to another Infinite Warfare video. Today what I have for you guys is another variant versus variant video and I'm doing the Erad Cyclopean versus the Erad, oh god I forgot the name of it, oh Cerberus, ha <laughs> duh, it's right here in front of me. These are two completely very different guns from each other. One is actually not so different from the base model. So actually the first one we're going to be talking about here is the Erad Cerberus. So now the Erad Cerberus is the first epic of the Erad. It's been in the game since day one. 4,000 salvage as always unless you want to get lucky and get it out of a supply drop. Um, but this is the first epic and what makes this epic is that it has an underlying shotgun. And the epic perk on this is actually called Master Key which means it has an under barrel shotgun. And I gotta say that, well, I'm gonna be honest, it's not good. The shotgun on this guy, it's complete trash. Um, it does little to no damage. You need to be right in front of them. It shoots really fast. It shoots somewhere in the round 440, uh, 440 rounds per minute range, but it is still trash. It tickles the opponent at best, you know? It doesn't really do too much. And on top of that, with, with such a ridiculously high fire rate for a shotgun, and only having eight rounds in the magazine in shotgun mode, you are going to be burning through ammo so quickly, okay? And uh, by the time you're down to like one shot in the shotgun mode, you're gonna be having like maybe five shots left back in SMG mode. And to be honest, there's nothing too epic about it. I mean, on paper, it sounds really cool, you know? You have a shotgun with an ERAD. Whoa, that's gonna be overpowered, kind of the same way people thought that the Type 2 Butcher was, was gonna be overpowered. But the shotgun on this guy is complete trash. Uh, and just, I'm not even going to be nice about it because honestly it really sucks. And throughout this entire gameplay, you're going to notice that I next to never use the shotgun on this. Uh, there's going to be a few occasions where I do. And uh, that's just because I don't use it. I completely forget it's there because it's that bad. Um, it's honestly not very good. And the shotgun spread on this guy is actually pretty intense. Um, it's kind of ridiculous, especially for a shotgun, and once again, like I said, it has no range, little to no damage, such a small ammo capacity, and it shoots really fast. Uh, that's just all the formula for a really bad shotgun. And hey, Infinity Ward, if you ever want to nerf the Reaver, just this is the preferred formula for it. You know, this or the Type 2 if you ever want to nerf it, just spitballing here. And if you ever want to buff a shotgun, maybe buff the Rack 9. Just saying, you know, because the Lance is probably my favorite shotgun of the game. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about how bad this gun is. Uh, actually, no, I take it back. As a gun, the Erad is is a very solid SMG all around, okay? Even the base model, they're all super competitive. Just for 4,000 salvage, the shotgun on this guy better be damn good. And unfortunately, it's just not. Um, the only rede the only redeeming quality to this gun is that it has the stability perk which gives you a minus 3% to your view kick and that stacks with foregrip to give you a plus um, a net 10% because the foregrip gives you a minus 7% so that's the only good thing about it and just you know I figured I'd show you guys some of the patterns here here what you see on the left is actually the ERAD Cerberus with the stability perk without a foregrip and on the right with the foregrip so and I have no idea what happened with that third one I wasn't even touching the thumbsticks so I don't know what happened it's never that bad I just I can't for the life of me explain what happened there but that's pretty much exactly what it is right there um, if you really like the ERAD and you want the maximum accuracy that you can get on an ERAD maybe you might want to spend the 4,000 salvage but as far as shotguns go it's really bad I mean honestly it's just it's not good um, and unfortunately, there's nothing much else I can say about this gun because there's really nothing else to say. I mean, aesthetically, it's exactly the same. The only difference here is that it has this cool little green camo or skin. It's not really camo, it's more like a skin. Um, and that's really cool, you know? But other than that, I'm gonna say save your salvage. Do not spend the 4,000 salvage because 4,000 salvage is a lot. Do not spend it on the ERAD Cerberus. It's just not worth it. In my opinion, the best ERAD that shoots energy that is not the Cyclopean is by far the Scapel. That's only 500 salvage and you get the Everlast perk which means it gives you a free fusion mag, okay? So, you know, if you're the type of person who likes to run the ERAD or just energy guns in general with the fusion mag on there because you get pretty much unlimited ammo if you're smart and conservative with it, well, they go for the ERAD Scapel, you know, because uh, you get the Everlast perk and like I said, it just gives you a free fusion mag and then you can save yourself a point on your creator class. Maybe you can 
uh, add something else, another attachment, a perk, maybe a lethal, a secondary, I don't know. But by far, as far as ERADs go, the Scapel is the better one out of all of them, hands down. And the next one that we have here is actually the ERAD Cyclopean. And this gun is completely different from the base model and every other variant, including the Cerberus. This is 100% different because it has different damage profiles. It actually has four, and it has, I actually don't know all of the damage profiles. Uh, I think the minimum one is 10, so it's gonna take 10 shots to kill um, at those extended ranges, but that's honestly not too bad considering that this guy fires at 1,200 rounds per minute. Okay, that's the fastest shooting gun in the game, I'm pretty sure. Um, but besides the Hornet, that might be up there. Although, I'm sure the Hornet is, is at around 9 or 1100. I'm not too sure. But this guy does fire at 1200 RPM, which is ridiculous. And you would expect, you know, a bunch of recoil with that. But like I said, it has relatively low damage because it has such a high fire rate. And it's actually pretty manageable, you know. Um, one thing that a lot of people don't talk about regarding this gun is the blinding factor. And what I mean by that is, if you've ever been in a game and somebody on the opposite team has an ERAD Cyclopean, you have a perfect line, line of sight on them, except for whatever reason they see you and they pull up their gun and start shooting you, you are blinded and you cannot see. All you see is a laser coming at your face and it takes up almost the entire screen. So that's like one of, like that's a major benefit to this gun and that's something that I feel is overlooked by all the other YouTubers and other people who use this gun and when they talk about it, this gun is actually very, very good. A lot of people, well, not necessarily a lot of people, but I have heard the argument that this gun is just not competitive, especially at range. And I'm here to tell you that it's extremely competitive, even at range. I have used this gun everywhere, you know, like even on the biggest maps like Scorch and Terminal, and I'm getting kills from across the map. Now, they're not quick kills because once again, this gun does have just a little bit of kick. This gun, however, I do want to say the fun factor on this guy is 100% and it is melty. Don't listen to these people who say that, uh, you know, it's not worth 4,000 salvage because it's not competitive. It 100% is. Just look at the gameplay. It's pretty melty as long as your aim is on point. And that brings me to my next point. <laughs> no pun intended. 100%, I do recommend that you use an optic attachment with this gun. Because it does shoot a laser beam, it does kind of obstruct your sight. And to be honest, the default sights on the ERAD, you might like them. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of them. Um, I use them occasionally, but if I do have the point on my creative class, and typically I tend to make room for that point when I'm using the ERAD Cyclopean, I 100% recommend either an ELO or a reflex sight because they will 100% help you aim so much better, especially when it comes to a laser beam. Um, and the fun factor on this gun is 10 out of 10 fun. Would recommend using it to anybody. And other than that, there's really nothing else to say because these guns aren't real. There's not too much depth to these guns. Uh, I feel like Infinite Warfare lacks that, and I feel that's something that uh, Black Ops 3 did better depth to the guns, where, like, as Infinite Warfare, they're nice, simple, and easy to get used to or easy to determine whether you like them or not. And that's something that I really do appreciate about this game. But that's all I got to say for today, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you like what you see, bros around the channel. If you like what you see, you know, maybe consider drop, dropping a sub. And comment down below what you guys think about the guns. Which one do you prefer? If you really like the ERAS service, tell me why. And if you like the Cyclopean, I don't blame you 100% on your team. And that's all I got to say for today, you guys. And, I'll, and yeah, I think I covered all the bases. Peace.